What's up, y'all? It's Bess, and I'm back with another video. So today's video, as y'all can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a little story time, and this is going to be a smoke session. And as y'all can see, the background is different because I'm not at home right now, and I'm doing this little story time for y'all, and I felt like the bathroom was the best lighting, so we're just going to go ahead and do it in here. So we're going to be using this little cute little, little bong thing that we got over here. So... I'm just going to go ahead and start this story time. So a lot of stuff happened that day. So this story time is going to have so much shit in it, y'all. So many twists and turns. It's just going to have so much shit in it. So I don't want to talk too much. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Well, first, let me hit that. Hold on. So let me go ahead and get started with the story. So basically, this was like <clears throat> this was like my sophomore year of high school. So my sophomore year of high school, I had two friends come over because we were supposed to go to the pool and stuff, and they were supposed to spend the night. I right, so cool. So I had two friends come over, and we're gonna name them Deja and Jay. Okay. We're just going to name them Deja and Jay. So, Deja was like, okay, let me get started. So, Deja and Jay came over to my house. And when they had came over to my house, the, um, the plan was to go to the pool. So, I had asked my mom and I was like, can we go ahead and go to the pool? Because that's, that's really what they came there for. That's what they came for, there for, from what I know. Mind you, at this time, I was innocent. I really didn't know what the actual plan was. So, they pull up or whatever and both their parents drop them off. And they're at my house and we're getting ready for the pool. And we go to the pool. When we go to the pool, we only there for like 30 minutes before Deja... It's like, oh, so-and-so said what y'all doing because he going to pull up or whatever. Deja had a crush on this black boy that we, we used to hang out with. And then Jay had a crush on his Hispanic friend. So that's just, that's, that's, that's how that started. So basically, they like... Oh, they finna pull up. We just gonna go with them. Your mama gonna think we at the pool and all that and all this extra stuff. So they saying that my mama just gonna think that I'm at the pool. We can just go ahead and go and hurry up and come back before anybody notices it's gone. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So boom. Like 10 minutes later, they pull up. I'ma name them. Um, The boy that Deja liked, I'ma name him... I'm going to name him Jojo. And then the Hispanic boy, I'm going to just name him Jose. Sorry, I hope that's not racist. So Jojo, Jose, and the boy that I was talking to or that, that came for me. So long story short, they pull up 10 minutes later. Um, so Jose is driving and Jojo is in the passenger seat. And the boy that I met was in the backseat with us. So we all got in the backseat. All three of us got in the backseat. So it's four of us in the backseat, just all squished up or whatever. So they pull off and they pull off to the neighborhood next to mine because that's where Jojo was staying. Either that's where Jojo was staying or Jojo knew somebody over there. I don't know, but long story short, we ended up in the neighborhood next to mine. So while we was in the neighborhood next to mine, they was like rolling up or whatever. And at this point, I knew what weed was, y'all. I, I I had smoked before or whatever. So <clears throat> So they start rolling up. And when they rolling up, it was all cool. <clears throat> and then Jojo was like Oh, yeah, I got some pills. Um, He has Xanax. If y'all don't know what Xanax is, it's it will have you off your ass. So he has some Xanax, and he's like, 
if y'all want to take Xanax or whatever, I got some. I'll give y'all some. It's not going to be an issue. Da, 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 da. And then um, Jose was like, and I got some Four Locos if y'all trying to hit those too. Mind y'all, none of us is 21 in a car. But we're in a car with pills, freaking weed, and Four Locos. So Jay... Jay, the other girl that was with us, Jay was like, oh, I've done Xanax before. If you chew it, it, it helps you get there faster, if that makes sense. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll try it. So she took half and I took half and we chewed it. Y'all, chewing Xans was the most disgusting thing I've ever done in my life. So I wasn't planning on drinking, but like the taste of the Xan in my mouth was so freaking disgusting that I literally had to drink a Four Loco. Fucking alcohol with pills. I had to drink a Four Loco to get the taste out of my mouth. So I'm drinking the Four Loco or whatever. And since it's already open while we're smoking or whatever, I'm just sitting there drinking it and sipping it. Mind you, I never had a Four Loco before, so I didn't even know how it works. So we just sipping it and sipping it. Well, I'm, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm just sipping it and sipping it. And... I, I don't at this point I don't feel the bar I don't really feel nothing I just I'm just high as hell and we're smoking and we're doing all this shit so somehow I get in the front seat with Jose I don't know how that happened I think I think um Jojo wanted to get in the back seat with Daisha so I got in the front seat with Jose and we're driving to Jose's house or whatever and when we're driving to this nigga house, he driving mad reckless, and he's like, "Yo, can you hold? Uh, can you hold the wheel? Because I'm trying to roll up." So, I take the I take the wheel while this man is literally in the driver's seat rolling up his weed. So we just like, we 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 was risking it for the biscuit or whatever. So, we just driving down the road or whatever. And as soon as I give this man the wheel back, y'all, he crashes us into a fucking stop sign. He crashes us into a stop sign. And that's when I should have been mature and responsible and gotten out the car. But no, I didn't get out the car. We fled the scene. So once we fled the scene, we was gone. We was out of there. We gone. <laughs> Big racks. They was long. Like, we was gone for real. So we, like, rushed to this man house speeding because we, like, what is somebody seeing us? Because we just crashed into the fucking stop sign. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. So after we crash into the stop sign, we like, we like hurry up and get to his house. So when we get to his house, everybody got with a little person that was there or whatever. And mind y'all, from the time span of me taking the Zan and drinking the Four Locals to the time we got to this nigga house, it's already been like an hour. Cause we was like, he, we was on the, we was on the east side of town. His house was like on the opposite side of town, but we stopped at the store and stuff to get stuff so it took us a while to get there so by the time we got to his house it's been an hour and his house was when everything started getting blurry his house was when i started forgetting every damn thing i knew so we get to his house and all i remember is everybody going their separate way they should went with um they should went with jojo jay went with jose and then I went with dude that they had bought for me. Mind y'all, to this day, I still don't know that man name. I don't think I even asked. But so we all go out separate ways or whatever. And everybody just booed up. Don't know dude, but dude start kissing me and shit. So at that point, I was just like, it's, it's that type of party. All right. So I guess somewhere along the way of those times, Somebody said, let's go do something. So we all get in a car. Fucked up. Mind y'all. I'm drunk as fuck off a fucking bar and I'm high as hell. 
Um, well, I'm pretty sure we all were. I'm pretty sure we all were. So we all just fucked up. And we drive to this place called the Boardwalk where I stay at. So we drive to the Boardwalk. Y'all, hold on. So we drive to the boardwalk and when we get there, that's when I don't remember shit at all. I don't remember shit at all. They came and picked us up. It was like maybe four o'clock. It was still early in the day. And when I came back to it, I just remember getting to the boardwalk and that was that. My memory is completely fried after that. I don't remember nothing. So there's a freaking big ass gap in my memory from the time that we left Odu house to go to the boardwalk to anything that happened after that like anything that happened after that is deleted out my memory so all i remember was me and this nigga sitting in the back seat it just it was just so gone y'all i still don't remember what happened but what i know is that when I woke up, there's like a lake thing at the boardwalk. So when when I woke up, I was laying like next to the lake and I couldn't find, I couldn't find Daisha and I couldn't find Jay. And I was looking for them and I like wake up and I'm like, yo, where are we at? What is going on? And so when I get up, they laying on a bench, literally by right next to the lake, they laying on a bench. And then the dudes was missing. So I went looking for them too. And everybody was just laid out different places, y'all. Everybody was just laid out at a different place. So, so I'm like waking everybody up. I'm like, what's going on, bro? What's going on? Where are we at? And after that, everything just went pew, 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 pew. Cause next thing I know, I'm seeing police lights just woo, 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 like just surrounding the whole entire place, y'all. So basically, a whole bunch of police sirens just like started like it was just surrounding the whole area that we were at. And a whole bunch of cops just hopped out and just start running up on us, bro. Like literally. I didn't even know what was going on, but it was just a whole bunch of cops surrounding us. Like, there were three talking to one, three talking to the other. Like, they came deep as fuck for us, bro. So, this is where my memory is starting to come back. So, I'm talking to the cops or whatever, and they're talking about, oh, it's, um, I think if they said it was like 7 in the morning. It was 7 in the morning. And my mama been looking for me since like the day before. And I guess she called the police because she told them that three feet and three little ass girls went missing basically. And they don't know what happened to us. So yeah, the cops were telling us how we were basically reporting missing and they had been looking for us because that could have like, I guess that could have went left really fucking quick. Because the best, you could have been fucking dead. And then when the cops came and got me, they called my mama and my dad. And when I tell y'all, I got yelled at. I got yelled at. Like, I got yelled at. I was gone, bro. I was gone. <laughs> and um, they ended up, they ended up having to go home. And it's like, this whole story is mad weird because sometime within those times, we went to the mall. But I can't remember when we went to the mall, but I, I know I have a picture of us at the mall, but I don't remember us ever going to the mall. So, like, my memory is so messed up from that day that 
I literally cannot remember nothing, but I know I got pictures at places I don't remember being at. Like, I have a group picture at the mall that day, and we, I don't know that we ever even went to the fucking mall. Like, I didn't even know we even went to the mall, bro. <sighs> Y'all don't do drugs. But yeah, that's, that's it. That's basically the story time of when I was reported missing by my people. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Bessie Naila. Um, Snapchat Bessie Innocent and Twitter at Bessie Naila.